Are you ready for the ultimate Batman adventure? The Dark Knight Returns is a comic book masterpiece that redefines the Cape Crusader as an aging hero in a dystopian future. What will he face as he comes out of retirement? How will he deal with old enemies and new threats? Come on, let's find out more. Batman The Dark Knight Returns is a two-part animated superhero film that is an adaptation of the 1986 comic book The Dark Knight Returns by Frank Miller. The movie is set in the same continuity as Batman Year One. The story begins 10 years after Bruce Wayne, who is now 55 years old, has retired from his Batman persona. Gotham City has sunk deeper into decadence and lawlessness. The city is overrun with crime and terrorized by a gang known as the Mutants. Bruce Wayne maintains a friendship with a 70-year-old retiring police commissioner, James Gordon, who knows Wayne was Batman. However, he has lost touch with Dick Grayson. At the same time, the Joker has been catatonic in Arkham Asylum since Wayne's retirement. Arkham inmate and former district attorney Harvey Dent undergo plastic surgery to repair his disfigured face. Although he is declared sane, he quickly goes into hiding follow his release. Dent's disappearance, new stories of the crime epidemic, and the memory of his parents' dead drive Wayne to becoming Batman once more. He combats crimes and rescues 13-year-old Carrie Kelly, but struggles with the physical limitations of age. Public reaction to his return is divided. Dent psychologist Bartholomew Wolper blames Batman for creating his own rogue gallery. Dent resurfaces threatening to blow up a building unless he's paid a ransom. Batman defeats Dent's henchmen, learned that the bombs will explode even if the ransom is paid. He realizes that Dent intends to kill himself. Batman turns off one bomb and the other detonates harmlessly. He defeats Dent, who reveals that he thinks reconstructive surgery was botched as he considers his undamaged half as disfigured. Kelly dresses as Robin and looks for Batman, who attacks a gathering of the mutants with a tank-like Batmobile, incapacitating most of them. The story is a reflection of Batman's struggle as he grapples with his age and the changing times. It showcases his determination to fight crime and protect Gotham City despite the physical and mental challenges he faces. The introduction of Carrie Kelly as the new Robin adds a fresh dynamic to the narrative, and the return of classic foes like Two-Face and the Joker adds a layer of nostalgia and complexity to the plot. The movie is a compelling exploration of Batman's character and his enduring legacy as the Dark Knight of Gotham City. It is a must-watch for all Batman fans and those who enjoy a good superhero story. Batman The Dark Knight Returns became a popular box office hit for several reasons. It offered a fresh take on the Batman character that fans hadn't seen before. It presented a more mature, darker version of Batman, which was a departure from the traditional portrayal of the character. This novelty factor attracted a lot of attention and interest from fans and critics alike. Complex characters are the main thing. The movie featured complex characters with deep and intricate storylines. The portrayal of Batman as a more cynical force of anarchy and chaos, loyal to a sense of justice, more than the law added a new dimension to his character. The introduction of first female Robin and the return of classic foes like Two-Face and the Joker added further depth to the narrative. The movie also had explicit political undertones, with Superman being portrayed as a naive agent of the status quo. This added another layer of complexity to the plot and made it more engaging for the audience. Batman The Dark Knight Returns was essentially a standalone experience disconnected from the monthly adventures of Bruce Wayne's alter ego and those of his Justice League co-stars. This made it accessible to a wider audience, including those with only a passing knowledge of the character. The movie performed exceptionally well at the box office, further cementing its popularity. It exceeded expectations in ticket sales during its domestic debut and globally contributing to its status as a box office hit. It has an influence in pop culture. The movie has been noted for helping reintroduce a darker and more mature-oriented version of the character and superheroes in general to pop culture during the 1980s. Various elements of the series have since been incorporated into depictions of Batman and other media. Legacy The movie is widely considered to be one of the greatest and most influential Batman stories ever made, as well as one of the greatest works of comic art in general. Its enduring legacy has contributed to its continued popularity among fans. The unique and innovative portrayal of Batman, the complex characters and plot, the political undertones, the standalone nature of the movie, its impressive box office performance, 
its influence on pop culture, and its enduring legacy all contributed to the popularity and success of Batman The Dark Knight Returns. It's a testament to the timeless appeal of the Batman character and the creative vision of the filmmakers. Batman The Dark Knight Returns is an animated movie that stands out in the Batman franchise. It's almost the same as other Batman films. Mature Teams is another notable thing of this movie. Like the comic series it's based on, presents a darker and more mature version of Batman. This has influenced the tone of many Bat movies that followed, particularly those directed by Christopher Nolan. Aging Batman, the movie features an older, more world-weary Batman, which is a departure from other films where Batman is often portrayed in his prime. This aspect influences the depiction of Batman in Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice, where Batman is portrayed as older and more experienced. Influence on Character Design The look of Batman in Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice, was heavily influenced by The Dark Knight Returns. The bat symbol and the general appearance of Batman in the movie bear a strong resemblance to Frank Miller's design in the comic series. Role Reversal in The Dark Knight Returns, Superman is an operative of the United States government and Batman is seen as a wild card. For example, Zack Snyder, Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice, borrows heavily from The Dark Knight Returns, particularly in the epic showdown between Batman and Superman. The character design in Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice was greatly influenced by The Dark Knight Returns. The bat symbol and Batman's overall look in the movie closely mirror Frank Miller's design in the comic series. While The Dark Knight Returns has made a significant impact on the DC Universe, it doesn't align perfectly with the continuity set by DC Animated Universe, DCAU. Trying to fit The Dark Knight Returns between Batman, the animated series, and Batman Beyond would lead to numerous plot inconsistencies. Despite these continuity challenges, there is interest in adapting. The Dark Knight Returns into a live-action film with the DC Universe. Zack Snyder has shown interest in such a project, which could further strengthen the link between The Dark Knight Returns and the DC Universe. Batman The Dark Knight Returns has a complicated but important relationship with DC Universe. It has influenced how Batman is portrayed into other stories and films within the universe, and there's potential for it to be more directly integrated into the DC Universe in the future. The DC Universe is a shared universe where stories in most American comic book titles published by DC Comics occur. It's home to well-known superheroes like Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, The Flash, Green Lantern, and Aquaman, as well as teams like the Justice League and the Teen Titans. It also includes famous supervillains like the Joker, Lex Luthor, and Darkseid. The term DC Multiverse refers to the collection of all continuities within DC Comics publications. Batman is back, but not everyone is happy about it. The government, the police, and even his old allies are against him. And a new threat is looming on the horizon. Superman. Will Batman survive his final battle? Comment your thoughts on this and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.